California's largest water storage reservoir is the Sierra Nevada Mountain Range. Sierra Nevada, in Spanish, means literally snowy mountain range. The portion of the range that can store snow is about 400 miles long and 50 miles wide, providing roughly 20,000 square miles of snow storage area. A central feature of the Sierras is the beautiful Lake Tahoe, the second deepest natural lake in the United States. When evaluating the snowpack in the context of meeting the state's water needs, the only metric of concern is how much water does it contain. And the most important date for comparative purposes is April 1st, when the snowpack generally reaches its annual peak. A snowpack that has 40 inches or more of water content on April 1st will always bring joy to the hearts of water managers. This year, 2017, there are a lot of joyous water managers in California. Skiers, on the other hand, are mostly concerned with depth of snow. Here's 137 years worth of data for total snowpack on Donner Summit along Interstate Highway 80. As you can see, a really big snowpack is 50 feet, or 600 inches. That's occurred 16 times, 12 percent, in 137 years. Here are seven Lake Tahoe area ski areas. Let's take a look at some of them and see how they're doing in relation to that 600 inch milestone, with nearly two months to go in the snowpack season. Squaw Valley, 616 inches. Its sister area, Alpine Meadows, 613 inches. Mount Rose, a little higher, 679 inches. And Kirkwood, 601 inches. Well, I think you're getting the idea. Let's get in the airplane and go have a look firsthand at some of those ski areas. Here we go. Okay, climbing through 7,200. First stop will be Kirkwood. 12 o'clock straight ahead, uh, 15 nautical miles. Also time to get out some oxygen. A little bit gnarly right on top here, above Kirkwood. Not many people up here today. Too many places to go skiing right now with beautiful deep snow. Wow, what a day. I do believe. First time I've been over this one. wilderness there truly is some epic snow depth down there tens of feet okay I know we're getting close to Alpine Meadows and Squaw Valley here somewhere should be coming up on it pretty quick oh yeah I see a ski lift there that's got to be uh, Alpine Meadows Yeah, that would be Alpine Meadows. Up here is Squaw Valley. 
All right. I'm not lost. Starting to get a little bit of mountain wave and uh, rising thermal activity. Gonna be time to get out of Dodge here pretty quick and head down the hill before it becomes really gnarly. Wow, talk about some beautiful deep groove snow. 200 to 200 plus inch base. Wow, now there's a pretty awesome view. We are about 13 miles southeast of Blue Canyon. And uh, that's a pretty impressive mountains right there. Gee, I hope I don't cause an avalanche here. Looks pretty pristine. Some of that snow is 50 feet deep. All right, we're descending back down now, descending through 7,700. Gonna make a low pass over the frozen and snowed in Blue Canyon Airport runway. I don't know why I'm gonna make a call. Nobody's over here landing, but anyway. Blue Canyon traffic, light Fort one Mike Sulu, two and a half uh, to the east. I'm gonna be making a low pass over the runway south to north and departing down the hill. Blue Canyon. Somebody out there walking around on my runway.